Singer-songwriter, and I uh, was just discovered by Nick Cannon, and we're f we finished the EP last week. Okay. <laughs> so it's That's called Overdue. Cool. So like, what what do you rap, sing? Like, what I'm is your singer. genre? I'm a singer-songwriter. I can write all genres of music, but uh, as an artist, I'm an R&B singer. So that's fun. That's so. I like <laughs> that. There's not many female artists leading right now in the R&B, in Sadly. my opinion. Yeah, I mean, I feel like they took a break for a little while, but that's just my opinion. I think they're waking up. <laughs> <laughs> they're waking up now, barely. But so where are you from? Originally from Lubbock, Texas. Really? I was raised in San Antonio, though. Okay. But now I live here in Dallas. So. <laughs> Welcome to Dallas. Thanks. Um, so what have you done locally here in Dallas? Oh, goodness. For your career? Um, I used to work at the radio station, the Wave, that's what it was called. It's actually an online radio station, so I did that, and then I performed here and stuff like that. But mostly, all my performing was when I was younger, and I did that all over Texas, not just here, and then in New York, and then in California. I lived in California for like two years, so. How was that? <sighs> California is interesting. I mean, it's great for work, and yeah. it's great for like networking and building something, but I, I'm pretty uh, simple. I like Texas and I don't really care for the fast pace. So did you meet anybody like imported in California? Because oh, I feel like there should be stars everywhere. I've never been, by the way, so I don't know, <laughs> but hopefully one day. <laughs> right, uh, I met a lot of people that were important. I met um, producers that worked for Empire and I got to write for Empire, the TV show, and I did background vocals for Tom Hanks' wife, who I cannot remember her name right now, Rita Wilson. Oh, okay. <laughs> and, um, you know, I performed out there and I was I did acting too because I act as well. And I met Tom, Nick Cannon. I met him. He signed me. So <laughs> um, I met a lot of people. There was it was an experience. And That's while I was there, I was I, I I ended up being homeless for ten months out of the two years that I was there. Homeless? Yeah. Like living out the car. Like did, uh, the car. The car. How did you take a shower though? Got a gym membership. <laughs> we pimped out the car. <laughs> This is a brave woman right here. Hey. It takes a lot. Oh yes. <laughs> I could not do that. I mean, it was hard. That is. It was a challenge. That's really inspiring. But I feel like if I wouldn't have gone through that, I, I don't think I necessarily would have been discovered by Nick. I think that was the kicker. You mm -hmm. know, like this chick's in a car. She still looks decent and looks happy, and she's singing and auditioning for Nick Cannon. What was your <laughs> inspiration? Though? Like, really, what made you just? keep going and not just give up at that point because I would have gave <laughs> I knew to go to California I had a purpose. I knew that God said it in my soul that, yo, you're going to make it. And that was the reason to go to California. So once I was already there, I was like, there ain't no leaving until whatever comes to pass has to right. pass. And I would know when it happened. I respect that. So that's when Nick found me, I knew it was like, this is meant for me. There's no question about it. And that's what happened. <laughs> that was okay. good. So tell the viewers why they should listen to you like what would they expect from a song of yours or just a piece I feel like my music is relatable and everything that I write comes from my soul so whatever you I mean if I'm writing about my ex-girlfriend my ex-boyfriend my you know uh, depression anxiety whatever you're gonna get the rawness of Natalie Nicole and okay. girlfriend right <laughs> girlfriend yep. pause right there for a second <laughs> That's interesting, yeah. but <laughs> so basically, when you hear me, you'll feel every feeling that I feel, and uh, I think it'll capture people the way I sing because I sing real pretty and you know nice. Do you feel like you're relatable to other females around? Oh, definitely. In your age group or definitely. Who's your target audience? <sighs> I mean, I guess because of my age, my target <laughs> audience is you know twenty year olds, college students, high schoolers, older high schoolers. Um, but I mean, I've showed my songs to old ladies and they be jamming. Okay. <laughs> They're like, oh my Hit gosh. grandma. Right. Come through. So, you know, I feel like it's a range. <laughs> I think it'll last and it's something that could uh, be a legacy and it can reach anybody, any age. Okay. So what are your five-year goals? 
Hmm, five year goals. Well, since um, this is like my initiation into the industry with this upcoming EP overdue, a lot can happen in five years because a lot has happened in two. So um, <laughs> my goals are just to be get on that billboard chart. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Make sure that you know. Look for that. Right. It's heard on on that level, which it will be because Nick's behind it, and you know, hopefully get nominated for something because uh, Kelani she got nominated for one of her first EPs, so. Get a nomination. Do you feel like it's harder for women in this industry oh, to definitely. be successful? I think so because it, the industry is mostly men, you mm -hmm. know, and they're dominating even in engineering. And there's like a whole thing on that right now about uh, them wanting to mix it up with more women, <clears throat> put more women in the engineering room instead of men because everything's men, men, men. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> it is harder, but I think it's doable. And because we're coming into a change, uh, it's getting a little better but we're, we're paving the way. Our generation is paving the way, I think. But don't you feel like that makes women just not even want to try? Mm, yes and no, but you really got to be a certain type of person. You got to have true. that strength. That is very much true. Right. So. so where can they find you? Like, where can the viewers find your work? Okay, so you can find <laughs> uh, me in particular on uh, Instagram at Natalie underscore moments and or natalienicole.com. And you can also uh, download my first single. It's called Simple by Natalie Nicole. It's available everywhere. And look out for Overdue EP. It's coming very, very soon. <laughs> Check it out. Yeah. So Simple, what is that about? Oh, okay, so Simple. It was a quick little rundown. Simple is simple. No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> Not it's... too much. You got to get them. Right. In. Simple is, you know, making a decision whether you are wanting to be in a relationship with somebody or you just want to have a fling with somebody and you're basically telling the person yo i ain't trying to waste no time let's keep it simple make up your mind okay okay <laughs> so if that's for you check it out just wrap that up <laughs> <laughs>